Hello, welcome back to part five. So we are just picking up where we left off. So there isn't a battle at the start of this one, unfortunately, because there was just so much more to do when I was recovering my army. So my engineers off looking for another juicy target to put another under Empire City under. And we are building up back at Skaven Blight. We actually have peace with these guys right now. This is looking like a tempting area, but I still want to smash through this area first because these guys got so much hassle and pain to get through. So we're going to try and do that. But we need a couple of more structures so we can start getting the good stuff. We need to get some more weapons teams and we need to get some storm vermin to hold the front line. And of course, catapults are going to be essential to any real siege battle. Okay, so with that at you, we will start the next turn. There's my little engineer on his little tracks. And here comes the Norsco already. I wonder if the Norsco territories actually get up to any decent income. It's not really an area I usually explore too much. But I guess that'll be far more popular when they finally add Clan Mulder in the north. But for now, if you hear some random chewing noises, it's it's not me, I'm afraid, it's my, uh, my dog. Chewing a bone in the background, adding some scathing aesthetics to the situation. Let's just speed this up, because there's not really going to be anything that happens instantaneously. Even if the Wood Elves did decide to march on me, they'd have to spend a couple of turns coming to attack me. So I'd spot them anyway, just by having a look around the map. So once we've got magic, I'm going to go down the uh, lightning strike tech tree and get the skills to reduce the cost of the army. Because, as you're probably aware, any elite army costs quite a lot of upkeep. And uh, that's only really currently being offset by the number of under empires we've got. So we're building that now. I need 5k with a different stance that we have for that, so 5k 100, but yes, we need that, and then we'll not be far off the next level, but I'm also thinking, just a second while I take that off the dog, I don't want massive squeaky noises in the background, I do apologise, and play with your other toys, okay, so, What don't we have here? We have the tunnel for expansionism and we have the food. We don't have the income, but he's got 600 and odd, so maybe it's, maybe it's worth that 20% building. Hmm. All from taxes as well. That's pretty amazing for a tier 3 territory. That only has two buildings. You must have a reasonable amount of trade coming in. No, I'll not waste it. Sooner or later, we probably are just going to destroy them. What's going on here? Why is that glowing? Oh, chaos herdstones. Yeah, they're probably not going to live for very long if chaos comes. So, what can we build now? We can build catapults. So it's probably time to disband these guys just to speed up the construction of some of the buildings. What can we do here? We have insufficient funds. We could do that one. Get growth going again next turn. Or in fact this turn. Because if that's going to get us to tier 4, what extra toys will that get us? Uh, not so much toys, but it will get us complete access and more income. Yeah, I think maybe we should do that. So let's go for growth.
to now, 7 to install it. And I need 5k. Okay, that's fine. And I can't do anything, so this is going to be a quick couple of turns now where I uh, speed through what's happening. I click through these while we're in this mode? Oh, I can. Oh, let's, let's have a look. Yeah, no, it's not going to let me. <laughs> oh, maybe it is. I'll just jump down. Yeah, look at the money from Tilia. Tilia, then Reichland, then Wizenland. So they're, they're definitely the regions to focus on. War declared between Barakavar and the Black Venom clan. So those are the uh, orcs above Barakavar. Which don't usually go for them, they usually go for the border princes. So I don't know if that's an indication that the border princes are not doing very well. We don't really have vision over there at the minute. Uh, let's start moving this online manually because I don't really want to have this done at the end turn stage. Oh, and the orcs are giving Britonia a bit of a beating. That doesn't look terribly, terribly, terribly good. Let's go across and then down because it's hard to tell which ports will be the wealthiest. Lothan will be extremely wealthy, but. There's always going to be others, so it needs five, near six turns, sorry, not five, so yeah, we find to keep upgrading structures. Hoping we'll get an expansion here into the Wood Elf territories. I mean, we could upgrade the odds, but it does make it more discoverable. which is awfully close to being discoverable. We're quite happy to keep them kind of low-key-ish at the minute. We're very dependent, like, we only have one territory, so any under empire we do lose is going to be a bit of a uh, sting to our economy. What's the potential sack value of this place? Or will you not tell me because we're on oh. end turn? Oh, sorry, Scott, I'm streaming. That was, uh, left myself in a voice channel by accident. Okay, so we've got pl pl public order and we can do new research now. So, loyalty for new recruits, our campaign movement. I still think campaign movement's probably going to be fad. I don't want to expend for clan rats until I've got storm vermin. So, we're going to carry on over here. Campaign movement. We should have access to another one. Rubbish pit required. Growth vats required. Den of secrets required. I mean, okay, one's there, one's there, and one's there, and we'll not be getting this one here. Mm, I could get that one just for the research. 
but actually, yeah, I want the plague monks. Not really a fan of the help it or the rogues. I mean, the help it's good, but it's just never really been my style. The doom wheel is kind of as effective. So we can do not a vast deal this turn. I don't think we're going to uh, head over here and take a sneak peek at Ult One. Oh, ooh, he actually managed to push Axe back, and he's actually making 1600 from his minor territory. Damn, that's like a real soft underbelly for him. He's really dependent on that. Plus 50% for region. Oof. I am tempted. Where is it? Wait, can I do another ender out by now? Ooh, I can. Well, damn. Um, I think we're gonna go back to Britannia then. I, uh, for some reason, thought we were quite a far way off the next one. But I guess not. So we're gonna be alright here for a bit. And the income that I'm going to bank this turn should give me enough for the uh, Under Empire buildings. Hopefully it'll stay long enough to spread somewhere else. That's, that's kind of my goal with all of these Under Empire structures, is to get a nice spread of uh, different access points. Yeah, unfortunately the beastmen might come for these guys. Which is going to be a bit of an issue. If, um... Well, it isn't, it isn't. My worry is if these are dead, the Britannia will then come down this way. Because while ever these are alive, Britannia seems to stay in the Britannian area. Faction destroyed Clan Angren. I wonder who destroyed the Orcs. The Orcs, the Dwarfs. Uh, yeah. You would have a will the way declares war on me. It's not often that Clan Angren dies this early on. It does seem to be one of the things about the gaming engine. Uh, no, it is the Ox. Wow. So they just got a bit out of control. Okay. What's this province? Do we know what the total of this province makes? Not enough. Like, Britannia's on 1600. Inventor, yes, yes. Ah, it's two turns away. I really kind of want that one, but I'm not going right over there. Right. I can get that next turn. I'm going to wait because I want to make sure I can get the Under Empire maxed out straight away. That'll give us a nice income boost. I think perhaps maybe an issue with the Under Empire it feels very strong is that you can do a lot of these structures in one turn. I think maybe they should take time because, well, it's very hard to remove them. Especially if you take it steady like I am. It's like if you build three basic structures and then just leave it there. It's um, quite a, 
quite useful. Not even sure exactly how it works out, you're moving them. So that's going to be interesting when I play against Skaven in the next campaign. I could start another campaign at the minute. If anyone is interested in a different faction, you could put in the comments who you'd like to see me play next. Um, I'm a bit of an achievement hunter as well, so that's always a bit of a high priority for me. All right. 1600. What'd you get sacked? Oh no, I said I was only going to put one in that, doing this. Yeah. Okay, so. Food. 20% income. And tunneling into the next region. There's a big chunk of my money, but 20% of that's going to be pretty good when we get it. Now, how, how long till the money buff kicks in? Yeah, it's literally one turn. This is what I mean. These, these being a one turn thing are just pretty OP. I don't think I can actually do anything at Skaven Black now, I think I need 6k, but yeah. Three turns as well, we're going to get to tier 4 and build a proper army. And it looks like the Beastmen are going to come finish them off. Which is actually going to hit my income slightly. I was hoping to try and recolonize the area. Sieging him. Yeah, we could go for the ultimate irony. I could ask him if he wants to have like an allied defense. Yeah, you declared war on me and you live right over there, have you? That's like a quarter of the world away from me not much in terms of threat. Oh wait, did they beat them? Oh wow. Save drills. It's going to be useful for a couple of turns. Okay, let's get back up here and get, uh, get spreading the plague again. But yeah, under Empire bonus went up, which is very nice if I do say so myself. Doesn't have much left, does he? He's got mortar though, damn. Mm -hmm. Wait, he's built the night watch. Discover the undercity. Oh, that's why that greyed out. Don't be mean. Unless he spreads, that's pretty useless. I'm not getting half the money there. Shall we try asking him for a trade? We have had semi-decent relations now. No, everyone hates me. Like everyone in the world. Yeah. Well, they hate me, but it's improving. The time for talk is over. Make your... Yeah, the time for talk is over. I might just destroy you. But first, we need to build good, good army. 
You are far too close. So I think we'll remove you from the equation with the army first. The Crooked Moon has a wag. I wish I knew how these guys were going. It's so intriguing how the rest of the AI is playing out now they've changed everything and added like the orc territory in the middle of Bretonia. I'm really tempted to do like a Skarsnik campaign and jump straight down into that one in Bretonia. Because that's what you call the capital. And you know, there are other orcs, so they'll not really be expecting you to come attack them. Especially when they're not surrounded by Bretonians. So, the alliance negotiated. Yep, we saw that one. We got the movement range increase. Military alliance negotiated between the Brook and North Clan and the Black Truth Venoms. So that's the Orcs in this kind of region. And peace negotiated between Karak Known and the Wood Elves. And Cavern Under Tunnel research complete. Ah, uh, no. I need another research upgrade. Alright. I guess we're gonna go with this one. I might as well max out this one since that's the only one I've got there at the minute. Right. We can start queuing stuff up because I fear it's going to take a while. So we can do an underbird bag again. Okay, so we really need range units and then to swap out some clan rats for storm vermin. So, realistically, I want to get rid of four of these. I don't well, want to, it feels like I'm super exposed now, but storm. Yes. adding a bunch of catapults on is going to get his army a lot more oomph. And then we'll build the front line because, well, everywhere at the territory, we do have uh, the garrison to act as. Said buffer. Damn, it's still going up in income. That's just. Oof. All the little tweaks for Petronia seem to be doing them some good. of Satosa. Well that might draw his armies to the south and away from me. And the Orcs and the Wood Elves have gone to war. The Bretonian faction has made peace with the High Elves. Sitting out the Great War. Pick it, most traveled rat of Scalaya. What do you want? No, people already don't like me. I want to actually have some kind of diplomatic options. Pardon me. Bridge discovered. Under Empire established. Ooh. Please spread one more north. Where has this spread it like the plague building? That one. And then I want 
20% of the money. You can't quite afford the other one. That's a shame. Harness to the power. Ahoy, ahoy. Let's get over here so we can start uh, figuring out which good poor areas are going to be ripe for under empires. That was really good getting one up there. Especially that one because it's going to bridge the gap to Marienburg and Marienburg is making 1300 right now. This is what I mean by it's to spread them out a little bit. I just wish I'd get one down here. So what else makes so, so much money? It's really good. So, yes, that gives me only 900. Can't do a whole lot, but it looks like I can get one unit. So we're going to get another catapult. I want five catapults. Seems they're not dumb enough to turn on me. Oh, they did try once. The beastmen have probably weakened them too much to try again. I think these guys are worried about the orcs more than anything else. Which I could possibly team up with. first. No one's going to negotiate with uh, a faction that's considered weak. So I didn't build one of the structures. What didn't I not build? I got the money one. Yeah, it's okay. So I need food. You can't really go wrong. I think that's a killer combination of buildings. I think they'll probably nerf it, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's just... Uh, too good, maybe. Thou get we have to literally go around that. That's so annoying. It's one dude on foot. Okay. So. Where am I, schematics? them. Next turn I shouldn't be able to add. Oh, only one more because I've queued him up already. But yeah, we need some uh, actual weapons teams of goodness. Which will be two turns, so that kind of lines up well. So that's two turns. That's 15. So if I've got two of them, 16, two of them. 17, 2 warp fires, 19, yeah I need one more of these, I might just completely pin off the clan rats to be honest with you. I mean they're worse in every single regard aren't they? I'll wait till they're built and then I'll do it. So, 
in a couple more turns we should actually be ready so two more turns to build the catapults two turns to build the structure to, to get the weapons teams and then another two turns to build all the weapons teams and one then replace the clan rats so maybe six turns and we'll be ready so I think maybe I'll uh, just carry on until till the final battle of Tuberu and then we can end it there because it just seems a bit of a waste when I can just spend another five minutes blasting through the construction of the army So we're three, four turns away from him, and it's five turns till we can do an under repair anyway. Stamen Bites, the greatest, best inventor! <laughs> so six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's right, but I'm going to swap these out as well, probably. Awesome. There's nothing there I can do to assist my situation. You really can use the under and both for just an obscene amount of income, it seems. Without which I'd never be able to do this. I'd have had to uh, expand and attack and do all sorts of stuff. We'd be in a long, grueling, prolonged war. Which can be very frustrating when you've got bad troops, but this is just going to let us skip so much of that. Which is going to be good. Then we can start playing with fun army builds. Why did I randomly? All of your FS covering specimens in the field of data were not made questionable by any means. Not being wasted. The forbidden workshop has now been upgraded. New engineering bays, advanced equipment and facilities are now enabled to research new parts. Guess that's because I built that. Because, uh, yeah. Needs in, uh, to prove his worth. A whole lot of uh, interesting stuff going off by any means. To land. Well, there's Alistair the White Lion. Famous body to Tyrion. Uh, these guys aren't even really recovering. And the, uh... Yeah, they've got rid of their infantry capacity. So they can't build anything. <laughs> Oof. Engineer of Scryer. Hey, <laughs> can I keep you still hand build that? Where am I skimming? How much are the weapons teams? Yeah, uh, yeah, maybe. So. Oof, no. Uh, let's get rid of you. Get another one of these because they're cheap. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna have two of the three weapons teams, the five catapults, and then we're gonna uh, bend these off. Stamen Bites, the greatest, best inventor! <laughs> 
So what's that? Rattling gun, rattling gun. Warp fire. Warp fire, so we need one of these. And that's the, all the weapons teams then. And then I just need clan rats. Which is very nice. Clan rats? What am I saying? Storm vermin, damn it. Storm vermin. So I can get through this now because it doesn't really matter. I've not even got any. So. Do we actually want any of these? Not gonna make any difference. Mm, that's probably the most useful thing, so let's get that right now because when we start fighting, replenishing units is a bit of an issue. We have moved this guy over here, haven't we? Yep, we have. Uh, let's probably look at the workshop since we got some extra stuff. So the Doom Rocket. Comes from the sky. Uh, winds of Magic for his army. It's always good to have more magic. But do I really need five more magic? It's like one warp lightning. Testing done. The real thing now. Ooh, that's quite good. Let's make the uh, warp fire throwers a bit resilient. Reload time. That's gonna be good. Armor piercing. Oh, have I fired all my. <laughs> my poor, poor neglected uh, Doom player. Can I not build Doom players with this? No. How do I even do it? Oh, it's there. Right. Okay, so we've got all those upgrades. He slid into Ulthorn. Actually, everything's still on track. So we're going to tier 4 Skaven Blight as well, which is great. This is tier 4 as well, but we're going to use a Doom Rocket Engineer on it, which should shave some off the garrison. Probably not a lot, in all honesty. But anything that's going to help weaken it before we assault it is probably a good idea. Speed this up and get through the rest of these turns, and then we've got his full stack. And then next turn, we can go full on warpath. So, the dwarfs and the humans have stopped fighting. A, another faction of beastmen has been destroyed. And Marienburg and Midland are now at war. Hmm. Don't destroy my precious Midland port. I haven't even colonized it yet, but I want it. Should actually go over there and have a look at what's happening. So for these to build up, they don't have that, but they've expanded that way. Oh, they've taken Grunzink. It's really stupid that these two and that are region. That should be its own, like, eight stack, and this should be a region. But the Empire looks to be doing all right, which is good for business. Sizzle Scorch! Big Three turns till we can throw that down? More Warpstone! Icky Claw's actually leveled up. So I get him Scorch. So that's all the weapons teams. So we just need to start them in now. Try and queue up as many of these as we can. Alright, 
So on to the next turn. Okay, so the Baron Vampires in the hill are actually going to attack the Dwarves, finally. Ironic that we just looked at that and now it's happening. So Marienburg and Bretonia are at peace. The Orcs are going to war with the humans. In a couple of more game turns, we'll actually have a full stack army. Oh look, and they've, they've just left. How nice of them. Skull takers are gone. Ooh, 1800. My technocracy. Ah, seriously, it's going to be. We're we not by a hero or something to make it up. No, I don't have a plague. No, I don't have that, do I? I need to take three turns. God damn it. Exosuit ready. I guess we'll... Mm. Yeah, we could go with 19. One more unit's not going to make a whole lot of difference. So in two turns we can begin the war. can make it. And in two turns we can do one of them. Breakwater. Test subjects. Or should we wait? It's going to be like four turns though, isn't it? Oh no, three. Oh, I can wait three. It's only one more turn. Better to have a full stack. Oh. <laughs> I think he's heard me. No, I asked you for that ages ago. You were all like, oh no. Yes, this is going to be very nice. So, still two turns till I can do that. One more turn till we can do this, I believe. Yep. So, I'll just skip his thing. And we'll speed it up. And this is going to be the fun turn. It is kind of strange that you can't pan around when the end turns on, but you can in multiplayer, and multiplayer is far more taxing on your computer, so it really makes no sense at all. Oh no, don't destroy Marienburg, I want that port. Dread. 
dread feet in the border princes. Oh, sorry, Bordu. Which is in the middle of Bretonia. I love that there's a vortex and everything, but I really wish you could turn off the big siphoning vortex, especially when you're playing the high ups. Because it just gets in the screen all the time and just obscures what you're doing. Well, that technology finished, it was. So, slave upgrades. Well, we ain't got no slaves right now, so let's sack that idea off. We're going to go for the upgrades that are going to benefit the main army the most. Under Empire. Very nice. We just broke the fourth wall, lads, because uh, you shouldn't be able to build an Under Empire <laughs> in all four. You really shouldn't. That's the money one. Money. Food. Then we expand. Oh my god, 2k. That's going to be a nice bonus. One turn. Yeesh. I needed that law than upgrade because uh, this is going to be a bit of a thrashing for me here. doing on the corruption scale as well. Oh, chaos corruption is actually up because of buildings. Which are the other contaminated buildings in the area that they put in the destroy regions, but So the question is Sure. Do we destroy it or Occupy all this region and remove the chaos corruption. Yeah, take all your heroes and your army and just leave so I can take your territory. That'd be great. Might just take the territory for now. Although holding it would be a nightmare. Yeah, I think I might just raise it. Alright. Thank you for watching. This is going to be pretty much a countdown to the end of the stream now. So, we will continue in the normal fashion. Can't even afford to build expansionist pits anymore. How low we have become. So, it's the siege of Tabaro. The Empire. He's got some army there, hasn't he? Strength rank twenty one. He's actually technically stronger than me. Okay, so. More warp stone. Now, now! I love how it's like. This is actually a fair Serve fight. Yourselves up to your master. Okay, so this is the end of this session. Thank you for watching if you are still here. We will start the battle at the start of the next video. And if you would like to subscribe, share, promote, feedback, anything and everything, just write in the comments, let me know what you think. And uh, we'll continue this in the next one. I shall see you soon.